In this video, we have a very large op-amp circuit. There are three of them. No matter what we do, if this is V in here, and this is V out here, for an op-amp circuit, we always want to see that expression, V out is A times V in. Now, we know that we could analyze this using KCL. We could take a look at each of the individual op-amps, we could take a look at the entire circuit, perhaps even using nodal analysis, and we could solve for V out and V in. I'm going to show you a shortcut, and this is really where the power of remembering what these circuits do is going to come in. Do you recognize that this portion of the circuit is an inverting amplifier? I hope so. If you take a look, I have a resistor another resistor. V in is attached to the first resistor, R1. Going into this positive terminal of the op amp, and the negative is connected to ground. So, just looking at this circuit, ignoring the rest of it, ignoring everything beyond this point, this is an inverting amplifier, and its gain is negative 2. Similarly, if I cut the circuit here, I have another inverting amplifier, the exact same thing. And finally, if I look at this last piece, I have a non-inverting amplifier. I don't need to consider this as a circuit, I can just consider it as a cascade of amplifiers. I have V in, which is going into amplifier number one, going into amplifier two, going into amplifier 3, and finally giving me V out. I know that the gain of a non-inverting amplifier is negative R2 over R1. That gives me negative 2 here. In this case, R2 and R1 are the same, so its gain is negative 1. And finally, this circuit here has a slightly more complex gain. It was 1 plus R2 over R1. In our particular case, that's going to be 1 plus 30 over 10, or 1 plus 3, otherwise known as 4. What do I do now? You multiply the gains together. 2 times negative 1 is positive 2, multiplied by positive 4 gives me a total gain of 8. So V out is 8 V in. And I'm done. Now you might ask, why do the gains multiply? Let's take a look at a slightly simpler two-stage amplifier and take a look. And I'll be using an inverting amplifier because the gain equation is simpler. And then this is going to be drawn a little bit weirdly. Let's put a resistor in there. And let's make this one also 1,000. And that one 2,000. So, this we might call V out number one. And this one we might call V in number two. Why I drew it this way isn't to suggest that it's a broken circuit, but to show you how we separate these things. I know from the rules of my op amp that V out number one is negative two times V in because I just have a inverting amplifier here. However, I also know this is V in number two. I do know that V out itself, this quantity here, is going to be negative two V in number two, the input to that second stage of the op amp. But V in two was this quantity.
So it's negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 bn, which means that these two gains here will multiply together to give me positive 4 bn. So the key to solving a cascaded amplifier problem like this is to break it up into individual pieces. No matter how these op amps are attached to each other, if you can break it up into those pieces, you don't need to do the full circuit analysis. You just replace those pieces with their equivalent gain and carry on from there.